So my take tonight is about what I choose to call the identity crisis of our nation. I know the president has the constitutional duty to give an account at least every year on the state of the nation. But the events on Madaraka Day and the conversations that followed suggest to me that perhaps we should be asking ourselves more fundamental questions. I'm increasingly convinced that there is a point in the argument that this space we call Kenya was a chaotic colonial experiment that is yet to find its footing more than 50 years since the white man left. Let me explain. On Madaraka Day, the celebration took place in Nyeri, in line with the recent tradition of holding some of these national faiths away from Nairobi. Two things then happened that got the whole country talking. First, there was a program which some felt had too much of local content. And then there was the NASA presidential candidate, Raila Odinga, who attended the ceremony, but somehow was never recognized, however you define that. Now, I will not go into the question of whether it was a good idea or not to run a national celebration almost entirely in one vernacular language. I will not even attempt to figure out whether Raila Odinga should or should not have been allowed to speak at the event. I will let that conversation take its own course as it's already doing. But what extremely flabbergasted me was the tone this entire discussion, nay, the shouting match took. Within no time, what would have been a healthy national debate degenerated into despicable name-calling and the old tired stereotypes of this party that and this tribe that. That is why I still ask, is it so difficult for us in this country to engage in any political discussion without the conversation quickly turning into cheap tribal contests? Are there no Kenyans left out there who still want to genuinely debate the state of our nation? Or have we all just lost interest in the project called Kenya and are now happy to just goad the narrow tribal agenda? Or perhaps we never had faith in Project Kenya in the first place. I'm now convinced that as a country, we owe one another that honest conversation about our nationhood. Do we really want to live together or are we simply pretending to be nationalists during the day and while no one is looking, turn into ugly-faced tribalists seeking to wipe the next community off the map of Kenya? The fight in 2007-2008 had multiple immediate causes, such as a disputed election result. But its sheer viciousness suggested a more deep-seated hatred that was only triggered by the raw feelings of a close election. We went into some soul-searching thereafter and identified many things that we needed to address as a nation. Some of the hardware, such as the new constitution and a raft of other laws, are now in place. But genuine belief in the nation Kenya remains a mirage. That, ladies and gentlemen, is our greatest test today. And regardless of who wins on the 8th of August, we will still have to face each other as Kenyans and ask the hard questions. Questions about what it will take for us to have one nation in which everyone feels included. A nation where every community feels accepted, whether it is the smallest or the biggest. A nation where political leaders and parties don't represent amorphous tribal interests, but rather are genuine interest groups whose appeal cuts across the diversity of the nation. And that tonight is my take. Thank you for watching the show tonight.